Just don't like false advertising. Susu. Um, I'll keep Acolytes. Fine against both Handlock and Zoo. Uh, Death Spite's great. Do you think Reno Warrior is better than Sand Control? It's not necessarily better, but it's, I think it's more fun. It just, it's just a fresh list. You could, you could still keep playing Standard Control. Uh, players like VLPS play Standard Control. It performs well. He, he's doing well with it. It's just that it's not very, it's not very fresh. It's not really much innovation in Standard Control. And what's the point in having the new expansions if you don't play with the new expansion cards, right? So it's up to you. Obviously, if you don't know how to play, if you don't know how to play standard control warrior, and you want to pick up Reno, it's it's a lot harder than if you already know how to play control warrior, and then you pick up Reno. So I would suggest if you never play warrior, start with start with control. You know, start with standard control list. There's many there's many different lists available. Um, because one of the hard things I have trouble giving feedback on, especially on Hearthpone, is just like people. I'll get mixing uh, mixed reviews. Like people will say, "Hey, I love your deck. I went on a win streak. Went from you know rank such and such to this, and in two hours, and it's been great. That's good." But then I get varying feedback saying, "Oh, I think the list is fun, but I don't know how to make it work. Like I'm not. I'm losing a lot. And it's hard. It's really hard to say because." Some say they're losing to aggro, some say they're losing to handlock, and it's hard to say without actually seeing their gameplay. Um, so we want to hit this way because we want to prevent Argus value, so we'd actually want to minimize the number of minions on board, rather than like cracking open the Hunt Creeper here. Right, so yeah, evaluating the gameplay, because like, I don't know, maybe they're not playing handlock the way I, I play against handlock. Maybe they're not playing the way that against aggro the way that I do. So it's really hard for me to say. But yeah, as I mentioned before, it's like it's hard to evaluate because it's not a cookie cutter deck. It's not like Secret Paladin where I post or somebody posts a Secret Paladin list, everybody copies it. It basically the list basically plays itself and you have a high win rate and and you win. You get legend. But it's not it's not like that. I think I'll go ahead and clear it, just so... I have a clean clear here. It puts this guy at 3 health. It like dies to Belcher if he trades in. You've been running Warrior at your 314, any tips? True? Uh, depends on what you're facing. Like, what are you struggling against? Surprisingly, even though this decklist runs one of each weapon, I find myself always having a weapon when I need it. It's... yeah, it's... Well, you only run one fewer weapon, right? You still have three weapons compared to four, which is standard. And hopefully the Gore Howl value makes up for the lack of weapons, especially in control matchups. I know against aggro, you still want the... You still want the... War Axe and the Death Spite. Okay, so we do have an answer to whatever comes out. So let's pop this open now. So we can just crush this. Oh wait. Almost forgot to do the emote. Warrior struggles against Pally? Yeah, it's been a struggle against Secret Pally. I would say that's one of the weaker matchups. Somehow my game sounds like muted again. BM. It's not BM, it's just matching the card. It's just matching the card. Because the card is crush. So we wanna say, I will crush you, and then we crush the minion. I don't know why it's so soft, but then it's gonna be really loud when it restarts. So let's just leave it. Hopefully no Void, Void Terror. I choose all weapons during first turns rather than no. 
like damn Yeah, cock back and bust the wasteland We trust for my ways of wife Just keep the board clean And the moment it seems kind of like zoo In which case, we're glad to have the Deathwing, because usually Zoo doesn't run stuff like PGH, so they don't really have an answer to something big. Also, I think my deck tracker is not working. Now it's working. And good night, Damakin. Thanks for tuning in. You're losing against Zoo, Secret Pally, Hamlock after Drax is strong against Hunter. Rogue is also trying to make a comeback in Temple Mage. That's every deck. Well, I would suggest just like, you know, watching watching the stream some more. See see if there's anything I'm doing that's different. And with Standard Warrior too, it's like, you can have those starts where you don't draw any weapons. And then... Yeah, what, what can you do? It happens. Warrior without weapons is a sad warrior. Has anyone actually conceded when your intention was to adjust sound settings? I don't think I've done that yet, but yeah. Alright, good night, Dot. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for playing the tournament as well. Hope you have a good night. By the way, is anybody else having this sound bug in her song, or is it just me? Alright, give me the Imp Gang boss. Come on, Imp Gang boss. Imp Gang boss? Eh, good enough. That's not bad. Now he has no taunts. Let's go to Cycle first. And then play the Harrison. Harrison is basically useless in this matchup. Like, I'm pretty sure they don't play Jaraxxus. I caught a uh, random girl adding me on Facebook, you? Is that, is that such a bad thing, I caught you? Except. Except. Of course, it could always be a troll. Alright. So the nice thing is Malganus is gone, so we're not too worried about him having demons on board. Before, when they have demons on board, it's like, there's always this burst with Malganus that you have to worry about. But now, yeah, it's just like BGH, or not BGH, Dr. Boom and apparently Sea Giant. Maybe let's go with Baron. Yeah, it does kill BGH, but it also clears all his tokens too. This is a good song. I want to turn this up. But somebody needs to remember to turn it down when it's the next song. Her profile says 13 years old. Uh, then you should probably be a little bit. Uh, you should probably be worried about that one. Don't want to get in trouble with 13 year olds. So I hear, so I hear. Do we just need to drop Tempo Reno? I think so. We're not gonna really get the full value heal, I think. And he's played double Argus. I'm waiting for the um, Void Walkers. Cause then he's out of taunts for a Deathwing. What, who needs girls when Twitch have all Kappa Prides? Alright, come on, play the Void Caller. Improsion. Damn, rolled four. 
think we just drop Deathwing. Like, unless we pick up something really critical, we just drop Deathwing here. Oh. Well, in this case, I, I do want the Gore Howl before I play Deathwing. Because then it directly sets up lethal. Like, we have, we have 6 attack, 12 attack, 18 damage. So we have a full board clear the following turn. He needs to play something sticky like an egg, but even then we can crack open the egg here. Maybe Dr. Boom? Dr. Boom would probably be his strongest play. This Reno Dragon Priest deck is actually awesome. Might actually compete with Control Warrior. Oh, I'd be interested to see that. Alright. Cool, there's Dr. Boom. So this is his, this is his last big threat. He's out of big threats now. Uh, it kind of sucks that we have to drop our our own Dr. Boom. He needs to drop Void Walkers now. There's probably been an increase of like WTFs. Who plays Deathwing? Because like a lot of people are also playing this Reno deck and probably playing the Deathwing. So uh, top 50 hut. Top tiff. Top tifty. I was gonna say tifty. Maybe I'm too tipsy. Top tifty hype. Zoo is confused.